Hello? Before we start the video, I would love it that upon finishing, you would share your thoughts, whatever it may be, down at the comments. It is extremely important to me to know how you feel after watching the video. That's pretty much it. Enjoy. Today, I would like to share with you some tips that have helped me out multiple times in life making decisions. Some decisions aren't that important, like the color of your socks, but there are decisions that you make which could really impact your life and sometimes even others. Considering how often we are faced with life choices, this may potentially be life-changing, so please hear me out. One of the first things that you should always consider when making a decision is if it's right or wrong. Say you have an empty juice box in your hand and you really want to get rid of it but there are no trash cans around. You could throw it on the floor and be on your way but is it okay? We all know littering is bad and in most countries there are laws against them yet many people still do it. Sometimes that powerful mind of ours might even come up with weird reasoning for an excuse to justify our actions. Like for example, if there is no trash, janitors might run out of work. So here, you're welcome. We all have a part of us that prioritizes ourselves first over others, and it's not wrong. But to what degree does it change from right to wrong? Like, should we all remove our shoes before entering a store to, you know, keep it clean and risk stepping on something sharp? After all, not everyone's idea of what's clean and tidy is the same. Or should we even bother asking for help if we could do it ourselves at the cost of maybe a lot more time or at the risk of breaking a few bones? Not only is it hard to give a clear yes or no sometimes, but how do we even know what's right or wrong? So here's my solution to figuring out right from wrong, and it might not solve every single ethical issue, but it works on a lot of things. All you have to do is imagine what would happen or the outcome if everyone on earth made the same choice. So let's give it a try. If you are alone and you litter, yes, that might not be a big deal, but if everyone else does it, we will be swimming in trash. And just imagine the amount of disease and hygiene issues that would occur. So if everyone else should not litter, what gives you the right to do so? Okay, this is fun, let's do another one. This time the problem is that you see a red light but there are no cars around. Is it okay to ignore the red light? Now let's say everyone else is doing that. Well, first of all, humans aren't perfect. Sometimes we think that there are no cars, but there actually is. Considering that it's easier to see a traffic light than a speeding car, it is safer to follow the rules. Then there are some situations where you might not be able to see the entire road condition. Or what if there are two drivers who had the same mindset and decide to go since the line that is green has no cars. So obviously a lot more accidents would occur and I hope I made my case. So feel free to give this method a try. The difference between a hard choice and an easy one is that easy choices is obvious that there is one best solution or action to be made. A hard choice is when the choices are almost equally good or better in their own specific way. And because the choices are somewhat in par to you, it is very easily affected by minor things. Simple things like hunger, tiredness, or even your current emotion can easily tilt that balance. So my next tip to you is do not make important decisions right away. Take as much time as you could to do your research and figure out more about how this decision will affect you in the future and the people close to you. This also applies to things that you might decide to say or do especially when you are angry. An easy exercise would be to take a deep breath and count to 10 before saying or doing something that you might regret. Sometimes, maybe even take a whole day off to chill before tackling the issue again. There is a big difference between running from an issue and postponing it so that you could look at it again with a sound mind. Know that some of the worst decisions were made immediately without putting much thought, but do not drag too long or else you might forget or have to start all over again assessing it. As a teacher, I like to ask my students questions like what they want to be when they grow up or the courses that they will take in college. And at times there will be students who would pick on something easier because they don't feel like they are capable or they do not want to go through that hardship. Now if you know what you want but you choose something else instead for the reasons such as laziness or the fear of failing, please reconsider because the truth is that you really could achieve a lot in life if you have the passion for it. Yes, luck and other factors might come into play but remember that you are the biggest factor of them all. 
And if you were to decide to settle on something easy, you might live the rest of your life wondering what if. Every so often, I come across a young student that says he wants to become an accountant, which I would immediately follow up with why. And usually the response is because he wants to make lots of money. Yes, money is important, but I think slavering away for money and not knowing when to stop could very well be a crime. Now the fact that he would think that at such a young age, I feel like it is because of the influence of others, maybe his parents. People like that are known as drifters. They might not be sure of what they want, so they let the world shape them. If you really don't know what you want, I recommend trying as many things as possible and learn as much as you could. Pick a course that gives you more opportunities and not because it's easy. This will increase the chance of you being where you want to be or have the option to be there even though you don't know where that is yet. Some easy choices are easy because we just don't care much about them. Things that do not impact us much now so we don't feel that it's significant. Things like brushing a teeth twice a day instead of once, eating healthier meals over fast food, exercising twice a week, or taking the stairs instead of waiting for the lift. Saying please and thank you when you want something, apologize when you're wrong, sometimes even if you're not sure. The thing is, these things will shape you in the long run. Because as the saying goes, choices leads to action. Action becomes habits, and habits are a whole lot harder to break. So make a big choice in your life to get good habits by picking your small choices carefully. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more. Like the video if you like it. You are more than welcome to start a debate down in the comments so long as you keep it respectful. And any feedback that you have about the video will be very much appreciated even though it might not be very well received. With that, I will end this video here. Take care and keep on slaying the days ahead. Bye-bye.